hey everybody let's talk about r command in autocad when you go to the r command the draw section and you can see there is lots of options here we will discuss all the points of these r comments so stay tuned suppose we have a rectangle like this and have to draw an arc which uh, goes through these three points so go to arc and click three points and select the three points your arc will be drawn the next option is start center and end suppose diagram like this and have to draw an uh, arc which goes starting from this to this and the center is this so we have to select the start center and end and the first point is start point then center point then end point in the arc comment depending on your selection of start and end point the arc is drawn arc is always drawn in the anti clockwise direction so if you select the start point this and end point this start center and end you will get a different arc next option is start center and angle suppose i have a line like this and the arc starts from this center is this one start center is this one let's the angle is 120 degree you get an arc like this this means it's included angle this is the included angle this angle will be 120 degree go to again start center and angle this is start this is center and if you put the angle value in negative direction let's minus 60 degree you get the arc in the opposite direction so this angle will be 60 degree next option is start center and length this is the start point this is the center point and let's length is 100 the length 100 means it is the length of the chord of the arc draw the chord of this arc measure the dimension you see this is 100 the next option is start end and angle we have a line like this and the arc will start from this and end at this point but the variable is the angle arc start end angle start end let's the angle is 60 degree it means the included angle of the arc at its center this angle is 60 degree the next option is start end and direction suppose we have a line like this and have to draw an arc like this you have to draw an arc starting from this to an ending here so go to arc start end and direction start this is end the direction will be you see this is zero degree this is 180 degree so put down zero and enter for the same start in direction to draw the, this in this direction you have to start at this end here and you have to go to 180 degree direction the next option is start end and radius if you know the distance between these two lines then this option is helpful start this is end and the distance between this is 50 so the radius of this arc will be 25 similarly for this you have to start here end here and give the radius 25 you get the same diagram the next options are center start and end center this this point start is here end is here so it is quite easy center start angle center start let's the angle is 60 degree you get this arc this angle will be 60 degree similarly center start length center start length is same 25 so the chord length 
is 25 here. One is remaining, which is continue. This continue is nothing but it starts from the previous arc. Suppose we have drawn this arc and applying continue. It starts from this. If you go again on continue, it will start from this one like this so hope you like this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you happy learning